Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. My name is uh, my name is Matt Erickson, and I'm running for chairman. For the past two years, I've been chairman of House District 54B, and uh, I'm also a graduate of St. Cloud State with a degree in history and accounting. I am by trade a machinist. I work for ABM, a machine company in Hastings. So precision and attention to detail, they are the bread and butter of what I do, which is why I've been asked to run for a chair by my fellow activists. Like, uh, sorry, treasurer, <laughs> attention to detail, right? <laughs> like so many of you, I've spent uh, many hours sitting in monthly BPOU meetings, caucuses, conventions, etc. It's been a big sacrifice. Uh, it's a big sacrifice for all of us uh, dedicating so much of our time and money to the purpose of electing Republicans. Yet, uh, like so many of you, these sacrifices, like so, like so many of you, uh, I work so hard and I expect that the Republicans will fight to reduce the size and scope of our government, right? Wrong. I've been an active Republican since I was 16 years old, and a disgruntled and disgusted one since I was 17. Every time, every time we turn around, the Republicans are growing government. If, if Republicans in 58B, for example, stay at home on election day and God forbid a Democrat got elected, that Democrat would probably vote for crap like half a billion dollars to go to a real estate mogul, billionaire Zippy Wills, a Viking stadium. But instead, we elected Pat Garofalo, who voted to give half a billion dollars to a uh, billionaire real estate mogul, Zinni Wells, a uh, Viking stadium. You know, in my district, 54B, a Democrat could hardly do any worse than state, is, uh, state rep uh, Danny McNamara, who promotes light rail and voted for all three of the most recent sports stadiums. Garofalo, McNamara, any legislator, even Dave Thompson, you know, they keep voting for these ballooning budgets that continue year after year, okay? Now, we're Republicans, right? We don't do this, but we continue the charade as activists. We continue this masturbatory exercise of feeling important, yet we don't do anything to shrink government. No, we only grow government. John Klein grows government. We were told in 2009 that, oh, we just, if we could get the House, we could rein in some of the spending. Well, we got the House, and John Klein and John Boehner five times voted to de voted against defunding Obamacare. Right? They were told, oh, well, Matt, we need to get the Senate, too. You see, if we get the Senate, then you can do something about it. Now we got it, what do we have? More debt, more spending. That's what we're getting from Republicans. And now they say, oh, Matt, Matt, now we, we need the uh, presidency too. Well, guess what? When I was 16 years old, John Klein was the deciding vote in 2003 of prescription drug Medicare Part D, the biggest entitlement and expansion in this country in, since FDR's New Deal. That's Bush's program, that was Republicans massively socializing prescription drugs. And you know what? I'm getting damn sick of this. I'm fucking tired of it. And you want to know something? You, language, you, right? you think that word is obscene? You want to know what's obscene? The Clean up your language, Shag get out of here. What's obscene is shackling our children with 18 trillion dollars of debt. That is what is obscene to me. You get rid of the obscene language. That's the You get rid of these obscene Republicans. Gotta be something else.